Hey guys, it's Daniela. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to try to paint something like on a canvas. Um, so other than being walked through step by step on how to paint something, I've never painted before. So um, I purchased these canvases at Ross like a year ago, I think, and I just never got around to painting them. I wasn't sure what I even could paint. So I wanted to start off really easy. I looked up like a couple ideas on Z Gallery's website and things that I found on Pinterest just to get inspired and see what would be easy enough but would be pretty enough to hang up on my wall. So I came up with like the easiest painting. And I think it turned out really pretty actually. So I am gonna walk you guys through on how I got this done. And again, you guys can totally get creative with this. I'm sure that you guys can come up with a much prettier painting than I did, but um, let me show you how it came out. Before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you aren't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you wanna see more videos like this. And let's go ahead and get the video started. So I found this pack of two canvases over at Ross for only $6.99. They always have some really good deals, so you guys should definitely check that out. I picked up some popsicle sticks to stir my paint and then some brushes and then a few different colored paints. And then I also got some painter's tape. First, you're gonna start off by painting the edge of your canvas. Then that way you get a clean painting and it doesn't drip to the edge of your canvas. Honestly, I had no idea what I was doing. I just grabbed this board because I don't have a ruler and I started drawing lines on this just to give me an idea of what I'm gonna be tracing over. And then I literally just started mixing my paints together. Just started drawing lines across my canvas. I placed my canvases together so it can look like one big painting even when they're separated. I wish that I placed a base color on this before I started drawing my stripes or lines, but trial and error. Maybe my next painting will be better. I started to mix my paint colors together. Again, just to have everything in the same color palette. Then that way my painting will flow better. I'm no professional, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You guys, I was so bummed out. I realized that I wasn't recording when I started to draw these stripes. And I was so proud of my stripes. Anyway, I used this brush that I cut because it had dry paint on it. And then I just started drawing my stripes. And then I also traced some areas on the borders of my canvas. Next, I just added some cornstarch to my paint to give the color some texture. And I just started dabbing the paint on that color. This didn't do much, to be honest. All right, next I took some popsicle sticks and I started trying to get creative. I'm not really sure what I was doing here, but I started making lines in the opposite direction. It turned out pretty cute. All right, you guys, so here is the finished painting. I think it came out okay. I was kind of nervous that I wasn't gonna like it, but it turned out much better than I anticipated. I found a perfect little area room to put this in. Again, you can put this in any area of your home. So I hope you guys liked the finished look. If you did, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.